Hi, everybody. How are you? I'm so good. How are you? Good. Yeah? Yep. Hello. How are you, sweetheart? Comic Con. Your first? My first time here, and I'm having the time of my life. It's God, it's good. I love it when we have newbies. Yeah? <laughs> That's so exciting. No, go ahead. I mean, it's great. It's there are definitely worse families to be a part of. You know, it's uh, it's been exciting to get to play um, on the same network alone. To get to play three very, very different characters who. For some people, it, the best part to me is people just realizing that when I was playing Kai, that, oh, that's the guy from Carrie Diary. I had no idea. I've watched 10 episodes. Um, and to now, hopefully, the same thing will happen with this character. Um, it's great to play these interesting guys who are all in totally different situations and personalities and it's, to have the trust of Warner Brothers and the network to do these, these challenging roles that are so far from me is, is really awesome. So. Do you have to say, I yeah. think we're gonna miss the villain on Vampire Diaries. The first time villains died, that I've been like, oh, it was it was traumatizing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, his head is quite gone. Yeah. But apparently fans agree you're up for a, a new award. Yeah, I guess people liked what I did, which, I mean, there's there's no better feeling than to hear directly from the fan base in, like, a, a nomination like that where it's it's actually people voting because they were passionate about it. And, uh, it's, it's very exciting. He's the best. Oh, he's nuts. He's absolutely out of his mind. No, it was. I had a. I had a blast playing Kai. He's. Um, he's so entertaining, to me, uh, and just his sense of humor is so unique and so funny. But he could sit around and just make himself laugh, locked in a room. I mean, he literally did that for for 18 years by himself. So th he's a very special kind of person. Uh, but God, he's he's so interesting. And the season arc too, getting to um, after the merge, getting to play a character who. Uh, totally changed personalities and there's no other story like that where someone's personality especially a sociopath suddenly gets feelings and is struggling with it. it's very unique um, so I, I had a, I had a blast this year he's quite different the, Jake is um, He's a good guy, first of all. That's the biggest difference. Um, but he's, you know, he's he's sort of an, something of an introvert. Um, he's very guarded and he keeps to himself. Um, and he's tough and he's he's sort of um, yeah, guarded is the best word to describe him. I think because he whatever he's been through in his life, um, it's led him to a place where he doesn't like to open up to people. Um, and he doesn't say more words than he has to, and he keeps to himself. Um, he's got a bad temper, um, but he keeps it under locks most of the time. Um, but when he's stuck inside the court and he, he's forced to either step up to the plate or sort of run and defend himself, and it's very conflicting because he's not a leader by, by nature. Um, he's a really good guy. He's a, he's a truly good person, but um, his first instinct is to protect himself. So. He sort of wants nothing of the leadership that's sort of been thrust upon him because there's no other law enforcement inside. Um, so he has to find a way to do what's right and what he feels um, he can do while still protecting himself and staying alive. Um, and as the season goes on, he, he proves himself to uh, be the hero that everybody needs. So. A little uh, a bit bipolar. I was um, I was shot the pilot while I was shooting uh, the last two episodes of Vampire Diaries. So I would be on set as Jake one day, and then very next day go and shoot as Kai. And it was a little disorienting. I never thought, I never got them mixed up, or it was never confusing in that way, but just the characters are so different, and the styles of the shows are so different. Um, it, was sort, it was sort of fun, though. It felt a little crazy for a, a couple weeks, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, getting to jump from one character to another that is so far removed um, from what I had been doing is, is just, I mean, that's the greatest challenge, and it's part of why I love acting, is getting to try on different personas and embody and feel as somebody else. And uh, having people be so different, so drastically different, that's, that's the best gift as an actor for me. The premise itself? 
Um, I mean, I, I, I love outbreak stories. Um, and the, the story is sort of one where it's in its summary, uh, you know, a disease breaks out and we lock down the city in order to prevent the spreading of the disease. It's, um, it's very clinical, it's very um, sort of scientific, and it's a law enforcement situation that we're sort of assessing as, um, a, as political moves. Um, but then when the story, when we really get into it, what it's really about is, is humans and, uh, and, and, and people interacting under periods of duress. And you, you get really extreme responses out of these human beings because they're put in life-threatening situations. Um, and it's just, it's, it's a nice world to live in and the characters are so vivid and so unique, so. Did you use the characters from the Belgian version? Did I use stuff from him? Yeah. Um, our show, I have, I have seen the Belgian show and I love it. And uh, obviously our show respects it and, and is modeled completely on it. Um, but our, our show doesn't insist on our characters behaving in the same exact way as um, those actors in those roles. So they may be the same or similar names um, in the very same circumstances, but how we as actors have interpreted the roles in the, in the pilot episode alone, now when they've written the season, the show has already moved in a very different direction because they're using the characters we've created as opposed to trying to replicate uh, what was done before. So our show will deviate in a lot of ways from the other storyline, but um, the setup's the same. And now our, our show gets to take on its its own life, which is very exciting. Have you read the first half of the first episode? Because Not yet. No. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, Chris and Matt have, because right. they created them. Uh, but we're, we're supposed to get them within the next week. And we were all just talking yesterday. We're so hungry to get back into it. I, I feel so passionately about this show, um, and it's the most exciting thing to get to do is to do press for a show that you're so crazy about, because I could talk for hours and hours about it and not get sick of it. Uh, it's good. Quick talk for I could, but I'm not allowed. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the, the weekend. Yeah, yeah. Hope you survive. Good luck walking.